am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have an art journaling process for you. I am new to the world of art journaling. I just started this year and I am loving it. This is my Jane Davenport art journal. I still have to work on that cover a little bit, but here, let me just do a quick flip through some of the pages. Now I have blog posts about um, I believe all of these pages. So you can check out my blog at scrabbywife.com and um, see some of the process behind these. But what I really am loving about art journaling is that there are just no rules. You can just do whatever you want. Mistakes can turn into very cool things. And so I'm just loving experimenting in this book and it just really makes me feel a little freer than I do in some of my other crafty projects. So, um, like I said, here are some of the pictures I've done, some of the entries I've done. This one was one that went crazy wrong and I had to work hard to get it back, but I'm really pleased with how it finished up. And then you got this one right here. And so today I'm gonna skip a page over here. I'm going to work on this page. I'm planning on using some Jane Davenport art supplies. These are some of her incredible inks. I just feel like getting messy today. So I'm gonna use some of those. I'm also planning on using, these are some Maggie Holmes flower ephemera pieces that I picked up at Tuesday morning that I'd like to use in this entry. So I'm gonna put you on fast forward and we will get going. All right, as I get started here, the first thing that you'll see me do is use my mini mister to really wet down the page. And then I take each of the colors and add a few drops across the page, just sporadically, not really planning where I'm going. You can see some of them react immediately to the water that's already there and some stay still tight in their closed up drops. And I will help those move along with the mini mister in just a moment, taking it and spraying directly on those drops and you'll see them react kind of like fireworks they explode out and after I have reacted all of those and moved them around a little bit I take a paper towel and kind of dab off some of the extra ink in preparation for adding some more layers. to get good coverage you'll see me pick up the journal and start moving those colors around and in the end I decide I kind of want them all all the drips all the lines to kind of flow to the upper right hand corner and the idea that I want I kind of want it to look like wind blown up there so I use my paper towel dab up a little bit of the extra and then continue to work through making that sweeping motion across the page sure I've closed up those bottles because it's just like me to knock them over and I dry 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 it's a lot of water this got very saturated so it takes a little bit to dry right here at this point I know I want to use those Maggie Holmes floral ephemera pieces which have a lot of pink so I decided to bring a little bit more pink into the background with this stencil I'm using some handmade modern acrylic paint in satin it's the rose colored and you can get it from Target and I just use my finger to smush it in with the stencils I'm not worried about crisp lines I'm just looking for a little bit more texture and like I said bringing a little bit more pink into this page across the page. I like to do 
uh, odd numbers, odd groupings, usually three. In this case, I decided to go with five since they were kind of a smaller imprint right there. So five places across the page just to bring in that pink. Now I've decided that what I need is a little, one more layer, and so I grabbed the Dilution Shimmer Spray, mixing it all up when it's been sitting for a while, some of that sediment that gives it the shimmer falls to the bottom. So you have to remix it every time, and instead of spraying it directly, I just take the dropper out and kind of sprinkle it on the page. I just want a little bit of color, and then in order to really enhance the color, I do add some more mists of water to really make it pop. Now, you'll see me bring in this cutout I got from a magazine. I love the expression on the girl's face. And this other clear uh, ephemera piece, acetate piece that I think I'm gonna use, but eventually I change my mind and I take that off and don't use it. And I start grabbing for these floral pieces. I adhere the woman onto the page first, and then what you're gonna see me do is start working from big to small on all of these floral pieces that I want to include. I place the big ones first, adhere them down. I'm gonna use actually a liquid adhesive for those. Mostly I'm just trying to save money and not use up my Tombow tape runner. So I use a liquid adhesive for most of the floral pieces and I work from big to small, filling in the little spaces as I go. of this page. I got the idea for this page. I've been reading Rachel Hollis's new book, Girl Stop Apologizing, and one of the chapters she focused on the fact that you are either growing or you're dying. Like you are either moving forward and doing new things or you are dying. No one ever stays stagnant. So I thought this girl really represented someone whose dreams are, are coming true. Like she's reaching for new goals. She's being creative and thinking of new things this this woman is growing and I love the floral motif coming out of her head as the symbol for that and I'm really pleased with the glitter and the layering I think it's a really fun page to look at trim off the edge of these florals up in the corner that I had them kind of hanging off the page and one thing I always do I never like to waste supplies so when I trim off the little pieces the little edges I always try to reuse them so I take a piece of that big floral and put it down in the lower right hand corner filling in a little white space that was left and using up all of that ephemera. This page is 
super bright. So I decided to give it an anchor. I'm gonna add a sketchy black border around the edge of the page. I use my Micron size one pen to add kind of an imperfect border. I think it kind of brings everything back in. And then to make my girl pop a bit more, I use my white Signo gel pen. I trace her, giving her a white border. And then on the edge of that white border, I take my black again and I add a black border around that. And I really think it makes her stand out from that colorful background a bit more. messing with a couple of ephemera pieces over here. Your vibe attracts your tribe, because I love this woman's vibe. And then I use this white label piece to kind of set that off, add some layering. And I grab one more floral uh, ephemera piece from Maggie Holmes. This is a vellum piece that's a black and white striped leaf. And I love the cluster of black and white over here. I think it gives the eye a place to start over in the left hand corner. And then you move up and diagonally across the page. down I decide that I, what I want to do is add a couple more quotes I'll add one kind of in the middle on the upper part of the page and one in the lower right hand side the one at the top says you are either growing or dying and the one in the bottom right will say dream big now I don't have amazing hand lettering skills it's something I'd love to learn how to do but with three little ones at home it's I don't have a ton of time to learn that maybe this summer but I don't mind writing on my projects. I hear so often people just saying, well, my handwriting is terrible, but it's your handwriting. And these are not art pieces that are going to museum. These are pieces for me and for my family to see someday. And I don't mind my handwriting. And I would just encourage everyone to just embrace the, the writing you have. As I'm looking at this, I decide it's not quite bold enough. So what I do is come back with a thicker Micron black pen to make it jump off a little bit more. page instead of adding black splatters which is something I do a lot I decided to add some white acrylic paint splatters so I watered down a little bit of the paint in the top of that handmade modern um, pot of paint and I add some white splatters across the page to kind of tone down some of the brightness but not very much just a little bit more texture and dimension on the page I'm done drying that's it the page is done thanks for joining me today on this process video if you like what you saw please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I look forward to sharing more with you in the future keep it creative <music>